friends welcome to my channel technodate prerak today i'm going to speak about the newly launched iphone s 10s iphone 10s max and iphone 10 It has a gorgeous new gold finish on the front and on the glass. And it's covered on the front and the back with a new formulation of glass that is the most durable glass ever in a smartphone. iPhone XS comes in three finishes, gold, silver, and space gray. And they're protected from dust and liquids to an even higher level now, IP68. Now the screen on iPhone XS is a super retina display, the best we've made yet. It's an OLED display, 5.8 inches on the diagonal. It has 2.7 million pixels, 458 pixels per inch, the highest quality display on an iOS device. Well, the iPhone XS is not just one, but two sizes of display. The 5.8 inch and a new 6.5 inch Super Retina display. It is an OLED display as well. 3.3 million pixels, 458 pixels per inch again. You can see it's about the same size phone with a much larger display. But we call it the iPhone XS Max. All three phones comes with newly launched A12, which is called Bionic Processor. This Bionic Processor circuit has three CPU inbuilt. First one is a Bionic A12 processor, which is a six core processor. It's called the A12 Bionic. And the A12 Bionic is the industry's first seven nanometer chip. It is an Apple designed six core CPU. This is a fusion system. It has two high performance cores, four high efficiency cores. Two core for optimizing the speed. The four core can take 50% battery usage than previous Bionic 811 processor. Then there is a GPU which is quad core, four core GPU. Let's start with the other differences uh, or other common uh, characteristic of all three phones. 10S, 10S Max and 10R. All three got 12 megapixel rear camera but 10S and 10S Max has got dual camera and uh, the dual camera has f1.8 aperture. You are going to be blown away with the pictures you can take with the iPhone 10S's camera. It has a 12 megapixel wide camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera, and an even more improved True Tone flash. On the front side, you have the True Depth camera system. And that's a new sensor as well, a seven megapixel sensor that's twice as fast. One of the camera has wide angle 1.8 aperture and the other one is a 2.4 aperture, it's called telephoto aperture. The name given by Apple is telephoto and it consists of 2.4 aperture. Respect to 10S and 10S Max, so it is dual 12 megapixel wide angle telephoto cameras with uh, 2x optical, optical zoom and 10x digital zoom. It has got portrait mode with advanced bokeh and uh, depth control. It has got portrait lighting and uh, 5x which is called natural studio, contour, stage, stage mono, dual optical image stabilization, 6 element lens, quad LED true tone flash with slow sync, panorama which is up to 63 megapixels. Auto focus with uh, focus pixel. Again, tap to focus with focus pixel. Smart, high dynamic range, which is called HDR for photos. Wide color capture for photo and live photos. Local tone mapping. Advanced red eye correction, which will correct your red eye in your photos. It is advanced red eye correction. And uh, exposure control. Auto image stabilization, burst mode, timer mode, image format capture in HEIF and JPEG format. This is one of the camera and in terms of video recording, it has got 4K video recording in 30 and 24 FPS, 1080p HD recording in 30 FPS or 60 FPS, 
720p HD video recording in 30 FPS, 30 frames per second, 2x optical zoom in video, digital zoom up to 6x in the video, quad LED true tone flash again for the video, slow motion video support for 1080p at 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second when the continuous autofocus video take 8 megapixel still photo while you record 4k video the front cam camera is a 7 megapixel camera and it has got f2.2 aperture the camera is same for uh, 10r and 10s and 10s max only difference in terms of camera for 10r and other two model is 10r has got single 12 megapixel camera Black blue, coral, yellow, each beautifully designed with that aluminum finish. There's even an incredible product red one as well, and it is beautiful. All of these are protected from dust and liquids to IP67. This display is really what strikes you though. It's an LCD display. It's called the Liquid Retina Display. So it's 1.4 million pixels, and it's 326 pixels per inch, so true retina image quality. Now let's bring that uh, iPhone 8 Plus next to it because it's really interesting. It is a bigger display than the iPhone 8 Plus in a smaller design. It supports tap to wake. It has that 120 hertz touch sensitive layer so it scrolls super fast. Now it doesn't have 3D touch but here again the team came up with something really smart. It has a new feature we call haptic touch. So to get to the camera from the home screen it has face ID. And there's a true depth camera system, the same true depth camera system an iPhone XS and XS Max. So it's an infrared camera, flood illuminator, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, dot projector, front camera, speaker, microphone. And inside the iPhone XR is nothing but the best chip we make, our brand new seven nanometer A12 Bionic chip. So this is a powerhouse and it has a great new camera system as well. It's a 12 megapixel wide angle camera the exact same wide angle camera in the 10s and 10s max so it's our new generation sensor that's larger with bigger pixels optical image stabilization fast f 1.8 aperture apple design lens and the new improved true tone flash as well and it takes 10s according to apple will give you 30 minute more battery backup compared to iphone x iphone 10s get you up to 30 minutes longer in your day than iPhone X did, and that's really great. iPhone XS Max has the biggest battery we've ever put into an iPhone, and it can get you up to an hour and a half longer in your day. <laughs> Apple has ditched the fingerprint sensor, so there is no fingerprint sensor available for all the model. I mean, cable uh, earphone. So all three models has got lighting cable uh, headphone. Uh, bundled with the box and uh, it will support wireless charging it supports dual sync but there is a small catch in china the physical sim is supported but in the rest of the region it is one physical sim and uh, other one is uh, e sim e sim is a concept i can say and this sim is even miniature than the nano sim which you would have seen it's a smaller, very uh, thin uh, SIM embedded in the phone itself, eSIM. In India, Jio and Airtel currently supports eSIM. So in India, this uh, 10R, which is Apple says is a cost-effective phone, it will cost you around uh, 72,000 rupees, very rough estimate. And uh, 10S and 10S Max, uh, all these three models, by the way, comes with three variants, 64 GB, 256 GB, and half terabyte, which is 512 GB in a phone, which is massive. So 64 GB variant for 10S and 10S Max will cost you around 99,900 for 10S and 1,9,000 roughly for 10S Max. And as I already said, 10R will cost you around 72,000 rupees. The 10S and 10S Max has got 10,000 rupees difference between 64 GB, 256 GB, and 500 GB. <laughs> Is it worth buying 10S 
well there are a lot of other options available in android like uh, google pixel google pixel is shortly maybe next month they will release uh, google pixel 3 and uh, the price may be competitive there are already other uh, low cost mobile makers available in India like uh, Chinese maker Mi and Vivo, Oppo which are providing similar kind of display and similar design almost similar I can say and the Samsung is also there so what do you think do you prefer to spend 1 lakh or 72,000 for newer generation iPhone please provide your feedback in comment section and uh, if you like this video don't forget to press the like button if you want to get such technical updates regularly you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video again take care